Acumen Fuse ships with hundreds of metrics available out of the box. These metrics help you to assess quality in your schedule. As you use Fuse, you may wish to customize some of the existing metrics or design new metrics entirely. In this video, we will explore custom metric design and creation. A few guiding concepts will set you on your way to measuring anything you would like from your schedules. What is a metric? In short, it's any criteria you wish to use to evaluate your schedule. In Fuse, you have access to virtually all of your schedule and cost data. You can use metrics to check for conditions within that data, ranging from simple metrics like missing logic to more advanced concepts like earned value and earned schedule. A metric can be an indicator that the quality of your schedule is improving. Quality metrics help you to direct your energy when trying to improve the integrity of your schedule. Now, metrics aren't the goals themselves. They're the means to an end. To see how close you are coming to achieving your quality goals, you can turn to the S2 Diagnostics tab in Fuse. On the Diagnostics tab, you can slice and dice your data in various ways to see in detail how your schedule is performing with respect to the metrics that you select. The power of this screen is to not only see whether you're scoring in red, yellow, or green for your metrics, but also to see which specific activities are responsible for areas that you are red or yellow. For example, on this screen, I can not only see that missing logic is in a red condition, but I can see in the lower right-hand corner the listing of activities that's creating the issue. When we want to create our own metrics, we go to the Metric Builder. Here we can create new metrics, change existing ones, and share them with our team. The basic mode helps you get started right away to measure the custom items that are most important to your organization. Each metric can have as many as four components, and each component has its own purpose. With the primary formula, you're usually counting something, like the number of tasks with missing logic or the number of tasks on the program critical path. The secondary formula is similar to the primary, but it usually represents a percentage, like what percentage of the scheduled tasks have missing logic. The tripwire formula returns a set of activities which meet a specific condition. These are the activities that appear in the lower right-hand corner of the diagnostic screen that we looked at earlier. Finally, the tripwire threshold tells Fuse whether a given metric should show as red, yellow, green, or any other color that you specify. All metrics are built on three layers, although sometimes only the first two are needed. The layers are inclusions, filters, and formulas. For inclusions, you select the status of eligible activities, the type, and whether to look at their start or their finish dates. Filters let you select any field in the file and compare that field either to a fixed value or to the value in any other field. Detailed formulas allow you to employ conditional logic and virtually any mathematical or text function into your formula. Here's the metric editor in Fuse. You can see it's accessed by clicking the Metric tab near the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Here's the area for the inclusions, then the filters, and finally the formula. Oh, one thing to keep in mind, the best practice is to definitely create metrics in your own custom metrics folders. These are easy to create and will keep your custom creation separate from the default metrics available in Fuse. Let's look at a basic metric that I've been working on. I've named the metric successor lags and I created a brief description. We're going to look for activities that have any number of lags on their successors, and we want green status to mean that we have a low number of successor lags. Here in the inclusions area, I've told the metric to look for planned and in progress normal activities and milestones. For this metric, we'll assign activities to phases based on their finish dates. Next, we can run a filter on the number of successor lags being greater than zero. This is all we need for the primary formula because we don't need to do any math or check for multiple conditions. Now we'll go over to the secondary and the tripwire formula, both which can be based on the primary formula, so they only take about a second or two to create. 
Finally, we'll set tripwire thresholds, telling Fuse that we want lower is better for successor lags. Fuse suggests some percentage thresholds, which we're free to modify to suit our purposes. Now, we can go to the diagnostic screen and view the results of the metric that we've created. 53% of our tasks have successor lags, with the most frequent occurrence of successor lags being in 2011. We can click any of these results to see the affected activities in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Now, let's do something a little more advanced. Let's look for the task in each phase that has more work assigned than any of the other tasks in the phase. This will require us to use the max function as part of an advanced metric. First, we'll create the metric in our listing. Then, we'll select our inclusions. I'll pick planned, in progress, and complete activities, and all activity types. We'll base our metric on activity finish dates. Now, we'll write our advanced formula. In fact, I can use the pull-down function library to find the max function and to click on it. Then, I can select total work from the available fields down below. For the secondary formula, I want to show the percentage of the max work relative to the total work. To do this, I just adapt my formula to include a bit of division, taking the max work and dividing it by the total work. The tripwire metric has to return either true or false rather than a number, so we'll write a Boolean expression. Essentially, we want the system to give us a yes or no answer. If it's yes, then we want the activity in our listing on the diagnostic screen. We're going to get a yes for this metric if the total work on a task equals the maximum amount of total work of any activity in the phase. Finally, we'll create a tripwire threshold. We're going to tell the system that lower is better. This means we want our maximum work task to be a low percentage of the overall amount of total work in the ribbon or phase. Now let's look at the results. Finally, we can tell Fuse whether or not our metrics are desirable or undesirable conditions. By clicking on the metric folder, I can inform the system for each metric whether I want the conditions specified for the metric or if I don't. Fuse uses this information when determining the overall score for my schedule based on the metrics that I've created. When I'm ready to share my metrics with other people on my team, I can save my metrics as a new metrics template. The resulting AFT file can be sent to other users for evaluating their own schedules using the metrics that I've created. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and now understand how simple it can be to create new metrics in Acumen Fuse. Also, there's plenty more information in the Acumen Fuse Developer's Guide, which is included with every Fuse license. Here are some ways to contact Acumen, and you can always find us online at projectacumen.com.